We are 13 days away from the first day of school for public school students in the Lowcountry, and some parents say they still don't know how their child will be learning on day one. News News Taylor Murray is live in downtown Charleston for us this morning. Taylor, a virtual conversation with Charleston County School District officials, including the superintendent, will happen today. Good morning. Good morning, Octavia and Brad. This is a chance for parents to get their questions answered about the learning options for the first day of school, which are in person, virtual, and temporary remote instruction. The district is considering moving forward with in person learning for 25% of students. Not all schools will have 25% capacity, some will allow more students to return. Each school will determine which students will be in the classroom day one based on two options. A lottery and need. Seniors who need specific courses in order to graduate, and they have to get them, they have to get them in sequence. Uh, and if they don't get them, they won't graduate. Another uh, uh, example would be primary children who are learning to read. A third example might be children who need a specific kind of therapy that they can only get through school. The district plans to release a back-to-school playbook made with NUSC today. It lays out protocols and guidelines for reopening. District leaders say most of the safe restart plan information came directly from the 100-page playbook. To get your questions answered tonight during that virtual meeting, be sure to tune in at 4 o'clock. Uh, a link to that meeting will be on our website, countonto.com. You can also access it on the district's YouTube page. I'm live in downtown Charleston this morning. Taylor Murray, Count On 2.